G'day guys, and welcome to Photos from the Week. We're going to start off with one minute of Waikato weather. Te Oko Horoi, the wash basin. And you can see why it's called the wash basin. The thing is around here, one minute it can be beautifully sunny, and then the next minute it's like this. Unbelievable. But it's not all bad news. Because the next minute, it's like this. How about that? First learn stand, then learn fly. Nature rule, Daniel son, not mine. Mr. Miyagi. How good is Mr. Miyagi? I tell you what, I really love the Cobra Kai series. Might be pitched a little below my age, but hey, I still pick some good messages out of it. If you haven't checked it out, you may as well. There's about five seasons now. Huh. It's all about spreading your wings, taking flight, and doing right. <laughs> All valuable lessons. Well, I went back down to Lake Tekudu. <laughs> That's about the third time now. In fact, I've been there more times, but I've shown you three times. Managed to capture these wonderful images of this coot. And these cute little ducklings. I mean, if you lay down flat and just slowly move closer, and closer, and closer, and show you're not a threat, show you no bother, you can get great shots like this. A family portrait, <laughs> dad was stuck in a water hazard down at the golf club, so it was a bit of a disaster. But I love the tranquility, the peace. And ducklings just, Extraordinarily cute, don't you think? Yeah, spread your wings. You can do it, whatever it is. Get up and at it. That's advice I need to take myself. And every country town seems to have a clock tower, and Cambridge is no different. But when you're standing in these areas, it really takes you back to another time, another era. But these clock towers always make me feel like something a bit spooky, a little bit loopy. Like some sort of horror is about to unfold. And while I was here, I got some shots of some of the local landmarks. I processed them with a program called Dehancer. Well, you can check out that video here. Quite interesting, emulates film, film effects. But the great thing is you don't have to shoot film. You can just use your digital camera and then process the photo whichever way you want to, with whatever film effects you want to. They're all there. But it was a good opportunity to get down and take some photos of Cambridge Town. Something a little bit different from Lake Te Kutu. Well, thank you so much for watching Photos on the Week this week. I hope you have an awesome weekend, and we're going to catch you next time. Bye!